I'm from Venezuela. I've been working and studying in this town for two years and I think it is time to discover it more deep. What's Colchester? What do its inhabitants think? Is it more than the oldest recorded town in Britain? I need to find out. As I said, Colchester is known to be the oldest recorded town in England, 77 CE. But the truth is that this importance came from long before being the royal fortress of the Trinovantes, a Celtic tribe. Walking through Colchester is to rebirth the history. We are still able to see vestiges of the Roman Britain. The wall is the oldest and most enigmatic thing that remains standing through the centuries. After Emperor Claudius invaded England in 43 CE, Camulotinium, the Roman name for Colchester, went from being just a military fortress to an important Roman city due to its population and its proximity to the sea. A temple in honor of Claudius was built a Roman circus and one of the five Roman theatres in England. We are still able to see one of the foundations of the Roman theatre that was built after the destruction of the original. Although with the left of the Romans the town declined, hundreds of years later in 917 the English recaptured Colchester from the Danes. At the end of the 11th century the Normans built Colchester Castle on the birth of the ancient temple of Claudius, which remains standing. During the medieval period in Colchester, some industries were developed, mainly wool. Leather was also worked. Grains were exported from the port of Hyde, founded in the 12th century. And Colchester also became famous for oyster fishing on the Colne River. With the passing of time, Colchester became a merchant town. It should be noted that Colchester has been the center of many social, political and religious conflicts throughout history. Colchester really is a peculiar place. In 1884, it was the epicenter of the most destructive earthquake in England in the last 400 years. To discover more of the England history, visit Colchester Museums. From afar, Colchester is distinguished by an imposing structure. The Jamba Water Tower, the largest remaining Victorian water tower in Britain. It is amazing to see how well preserved it is. When walking through the heart of Colchester town, I can see that it is a place full of life. In the Leon Walk Center, you can find shops of all kinds and the Culver Square Shopping with more brand name stores. A really good place for shopping with many options in terms of price. As for food, Colchester has a range of restaurants with national and international dishes for all tastes and needs. Nearby is First Sight. It's an art gallery in the centre of Colchester. We moved into our new building in 2011, which was designed by architect Raphael Wiley. Um, and we show a mix of historical, contemporary and modern art. We've got free admission, we have uh, exhibitions, films, workshops and events and also a cafe and shop there as well. The aim of First Sight is kind of to improve the well-being and life chances of people in East Anglia through kind of innovation and creativity. We we're sort of want to empower people to be creative together and therefore kind of feel happier and healthier in themselves. And we provide a lot of uh, kind of creative opportunities for our visitors and also promote like new ways of looking at contemporary issues. Colchester has cinemas, an art centre, a theatre, a leisure park, a variety of gyms, sports facilities, pubs and everything for fun and recreation. Colchester has a library where you can have free access to hundreds of books. Education in Colchester is quite comprehensive. Plenty of schools, there's a great sixth form college in town, as well as Colchester Institute 
which is a large vocational college, and uh, also Essex University, which has some of the country's leading courses. Regarding transportation, Colchester has a good bus network, also three train stations providing the community with quick and easy access to London. For environment lovers, Colchester has cycle path, which will allow you to enjoy its landscapes or simply move around without problems. But not everything is perfect in this idyllic town. Well, I think all towns could probably improve, but definitely the traffic is quite horrific at times. Even there's lots of runabouts around. Still, there's lots of traffic jams sometimes. Although in this research, I found that more than 60% of the participants have lived for more than 10 years in Colchester, and also 61% affirm that they are not planning to move. I've lived here so long, and I chose to live here. It wasn't because I was born, so I really like it here. We, I guess we feel quite it's up and coming. You know, I feel excited to live here. So I lived in Brighton, but it was too expensive and I had to work three jobs to pay my rent. I moved back to Colchester, I worked one job that I love and I can save money. In Colchester we find one of the best zoos in England. With more than 200 species distributed by continents, it is a lovely place to enjoy with all family. <laughs> As for green areas, Colchester has Castle Park, the most visited. I think it's so wonderful to have such a big outdoor green space in the centre of town. Highwood Country Park, the most extensive and sweet world for your pets. AV feel perfect for exercise, among other beautiful green areas and landscapes. Colchester has a perfect location, close to London but far enough away to enjoy the tranquility of a home, easy access to countryside, to the beach, everything available and for lower cost. At the end of the day, I realize that Colchester is culture, welcoming, diversity. Colchester is home. home.